Hi, this is Leslie. Welcome to this video where we will take a closer look at how to utilize the Reserve Cloud Lifecycle. Let's begin by navigating into an event and scrolling down to the Event Lifecycle section. Reserve Cloud is one of the only systems on the market today to incorporate the lifecycle of an event into its architecture. By doing this, we are able to automate the process of managing an event while ensuring good business practices as well. Default event lifecycle models are set up in the settings area. Your settings administrator is able to not only select which lifecycle steps are present in the model or models you have available to you, but can also select what displays when a lifecycle step is selected. You can always skip steps that are not applicable to your particular event. You just can't go backwards in the life cycle. Within each step, it is possible to be presented with certain features, such as the ability to record payments, schedule deposits, confirm tasks, confirm item quantities, confirm attendance values, send an email, and attach a merge document. Let's click on a step so that you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. All the steps work similarly, so I'm going to go ahead and do the process tentative one with you now. First, if you've clicked on a step and decide that you do not want to do it, if you haven't clicked on anything else yet, you can scroll to the bottom and click Cancel. That will not check the step as being done, so that's a way to get out of it right away. However, let's go ahead and work through this one really quickly. In my process event lifecycle tentative status step, I have the ability to schedule my deposit. So I have a pre-scheduled $1,000 deposit here. I can change the amount. I can delete it. It is my deposit to do with what I wish. I'll go ahead and leave that request. Next, I can confirm my task. I have a follow up task that is preset by reserve. That's great, but I can always change the date of that if I need to and or remove it or possibly assign it to a different person. Next, I have the ability to send an email. If I don't want to send an email to my contact right now, I can simply uncheck the box. But if I do want to send an email, I'll go ahead and leave that checked. And the next item says choose an email template. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an email template. Then as I scroll down, next it says to choose documents to generate. Now I need to think, do I want to put in a merge document attachment? Maybe so, maybe not. In this case, I do want to attach a contract and Reserve is smart enough to present me with my contract document types. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm just going to grab my contract, scroll to the bottom and hit process tentative. So basically what I'm doing is going all the way down the page and completing the steps as needed. I'll go ahead and hit process tentative. Now we see our email content come up. And as we scroll down, we can edit the email template if need be. And near the bottom, our contract that we selected has been attached. I can view the contract simply by clicking on the link. I can also save this contract with history if I ever want to refer back to it. The information can then be sent off to your guest. Your life cycle step, as we scroll back down, will now be checked off and you're ready for your next step. I hope that this video has given you an increased comfort level with the event life cycle. It was created with you in mind to help you easily and efficiently move business forward. Thanks for watching.